Hey guys, I'm back again. Um, just wanted to go over my melting basket. These are just some things that I just kind of pulled together quickly um, as stuff falls. Uh, of scents that I would like to focus on for, I guess as long as it takes to get through this stuff. I don't want to have to put it away. So what I plan on doing is just quickly telling you what I have in my overflowing melting basket. Um, I will come back next week and go over what I managed to finish. I tried to pull a variety of fall scents, clean scents, uh, the clean scents for obviously for melting in my upstairs part of my house. And then like some fruity, sense too because as I said in my last video um, we're still very warm here and I can't just commit to melting fall scents so if it happens to cool down I will definitely add some more fall scents to my basket and I just kind of want to focus on this um, going forward and see what this basket looks like um, November 1st. But I will come back weekly and go over empties. So let me show you guys what I have picked to melt. Um, all right, first thing is this. This is from the Country Scent Shack. Um, are they still in business? I am not sure. I've had this since last October. Um, this is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow type. I think I have like one, one little, one little like pie. So it doesn't really smell very strong. For some reason I'm massively smelling coconut on that. So I just want to get that done with. Um, I picked from Waxmosphere Comfort Smell, which I talked about. No, that was Homesick. Okay, Comfort Smell which that will be like an upstairs melt. I'd like to get through that. From Zape, I have Rum Jungle. Nice fruity scent there. From Swanky, I have Fresh Pear, which I just absolutely love. That I would either, that I can melt upstairs or downstairs. Just love that. Again, from Swanky's, I have Laundromat, which is just a laundry scent. Again, from Swanky, I have Lavender Stress Relief. Good at nighttime. That's um, in a little, like, heart tin. And I've already cut that up into several pieces. Good nighttime melt. Uh, from Yankee Candle, I have a Macintosh Apple, which I absolutely love that scent. I don't know how it will do from Yankee, but I'm going to give it a try. From Better Homes, I have Iced Winter Cranberry. From Super Tarts, I have Catwoman, which I have melted this before. I have a full bar and melted it. It is sweetened condensed milk, vanilla wafers, and mixed berry smoothie. I do like this. Um, I do. At least I did when I melted it. But the I, I'm too lazy to rebag, but it's not. This isn't like closing. It's a little too full. So I really just want to melt this, and I can't. I don't know how long I've had it, so... I would like to get through that. From Vintage Chic Scents, I want to melt some Johnny and June, which is jelly donut, sweet funnel cake, and powdered sugar, which this is, this was a loaf. So I just cut the loaf up and I have, I've melted a little bit of it. Um, this is from March. So I'm really hoping um, that I get a good throw and stuff from this. I I think when I when I melted it before I it was a good smell so and strong so I want to get through some of that from Wilma's uh, Lavender Dreams this is an absolute favorite of mine this was I was talking about this I compared it to uh, a swanky it was like a bedtime bath and mint one this smells so much like it and I love this I wish I had bought a bigger quantity of it because this is just I love this. Um, that's a good upstairs melt. 
I have a little tiny piece of farmhouse cider cranberry sauce from Closet Full of Wax, which this was gifted to me last year. So I have one piece left. This is really good. I'm going to melt that with the farm apple pumpkin, which I talked about in my last video. I just love this. Really, go get this. Um, it's nothing complex. It is just such a good scent. So I'm going to melt that from Wilma's. I also have Granny Smith apple, which I love. Apple scents. Can't go wrong with those. That smells so yummy. I'm going to put that in today. From Tiffany Candles, I have these star shapes. I have two left. And this is in Clean Cotton, Barbie Girl, and Pink Sugar. So I'd like to finish that up. From Destination Wax, I have Chamomile Tea. Love this scent. So, so good. Oh, love it. From Dessa's, I have Fresh Juicy Pear. Love pear scents. Destination Wax, I have Ice Lemon Biscotti, which is just, I love to have a nice variety of lemon because every day is a good day to melt some lemon, especially, like I always say, after cooking and everybody else says it too. From Back 40 Wax, this was given, given to me by Sasha. It's called Count On Me. And let me just see what's on here. It is toasted marshmallow, lemon, orange slices, white rum, crushed rosemary, crisp green, and this is with a crisp green base. This smells really good. Um, the marshmallow makes me think of fall, and um, it's got some fruity in there for our still 90 degree weather that we're having here. From Starry Skies, this is called, what are you called? Robin Sparkles. This has cotton candy. Um, I think lemon sugar. Again, another one from Sasha. So I'm going to melt that. This is the one that I am most excited about. This is Destination Wax Red Pear. And it's described as a juicy, ripe red pear. Very juicy. This smells so delicious. I really want to melt this. Really looking forward to that. From Wilma's, I have Lemon Mint Leaf Lemonade. This was one that I, you could pick um, a couple scents to blend. Oh, that smells so good. Now, I melted it once and I did not get a strong throw, so I don't know if it needed a longer cure time, but um, I just mostly smell the lemonade, which is fine, totally fine by me. So I'm looking forward to melting some more of that. From Dessa's, I have fresh laundry drying on the line. Um, it's all it's called on the clothesline sorry very fresh and clean scent so she um, this is from Sasha she cut it up in little pieces so that will be a good upstairs scent from destination wax gain I already melted one cube of this and it was really good super super strong so I'd like to melt some more of that from waxmosphere Ava's bath which is a um, like a dupe for the lush that yummy avo bath. Avo bath? Is that avo bath? Yeah, the lemongrass. So this is really good. I love that. Just a super nice, clean, clean scent. Pull these forward. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. From Wilma's, I have Snow White, which is a lush dupe of So White. Is that what it's called? I can't even describe what this smells like, but. It smells really good, and I want to melt that. From Beezies, I just kind of want to get some, I don't have a ton of Beezies, but the stuff that I have, I know I've had for a long time because I haven't ordered from him in a really long time. So the lids, as you know, he fills his stuff totally to the tippity top. So um, I do like to rebag his thing. So this is Chubba Dubba, which, let me just double check. I just think this is just a like a real fruity a real fruity blend yeah it is it smells good so I want to melt to that um, okay. another one from these is 
I totally forgot all about this. This is peppermint mocha. This is so strong, I can smell this through the bag. Um, so I'm expecting it to be like a peppermint, like a peppermint, oops, not, hot chocolate. So I don't want to melt that. That doesn't smell really good. And the last one from um, Beezy's is Cider Donut Bath and Body Works type. And this smells really good too. I love cider donut. Mm, that smells so good. This kind of reminds me of the Better Homes and Garden Farm Apple Pumpkin. I know that that doesn't have donut, but on cold, this really smells very similar. So I just want some cool weather. These, I'm kicking myself. I should have brought these to. Uh, Massachusetts when I was there because we had such nice perfect fall weather that these would have been really perfect um this is from vintage chic sense this is Jackson and I honestly I don't remember what's in here oh, it smells so familiar I think it's a blueberry which I'm not a fan of but I'm gonna melt it um this was poured on March 13th so this I'm sorry you, if this isn't if I don't get a scent throw out of this um, and it's not strong or whatever I just don't I don't know how long to cure her stuff but I can't wait the year um, another one from vintage chic scents is coat of many colors which was a sample and this was poured on June Fourth. This is uh, strawberry, acai, and candy sticks. It smells good. It's a nice strawberry. So that smells good. Which obviously things like this, like a strawberry, I don't expect like a, you know, a throw me out of the house kind of scent from this because it is strawberry. But like her bakery stuff, I expected them to be like really super, super strong. Uh, from Barrett Wax Crafts. This is a sample in iced pineapple, which I've never tried Barrett, but Sasha sent me this. This smells really good. Mmm. Really yummy pineapple. Um, okay, that I like to mix together. This is from Wilma, and this is Fake Clean. I like this. I like it a lot. I think I just ripped the cover. Mm, it's just a nice, I like to melt that in my kitchen. Um, again, like a perfect for after cooking. Okay, then these. I ordered these from Wilma a while ago. I love um, Middle Earth from Super Tarts. Love it, love it, love it. When I saw that Wilma had a straight up dirt scent shot, oh my God. I know I talked about this before. I love this scent, this dirt. I bought several of these, you know, quite a while ago. So good. Like, seriously, that is dirt. Um, love it. So what I've done a couple times already is I have mixed the dirt with some rosemary mint with a little tiny bit of spearmint. And this reminds me of Middle Earth. Again, I'm not going to say it's a exact dupe. I'm not a professional wax person. So, but to me, if I can't have Middle Earth, this definitely satisfies my craving. And I just put little bits. I'll probably like do this into thirds, each of these, and just have them going throughout the house in, you know, different warmers. And I really like that. Very satisfying. Um, trying to see what else I have. Oh, yeah. I still have a huge basket of stuff. So, this is just um, from Tiffany. I have tinsel, which is a great scent. I have from Wonderberry Wild Cherry Snow Cone. Not a, this was a sample. Um, I'm not a fan of cherry, but I want to try it because um, maybe it'll 
Maybe it'll change my mind. From Swanky, I have Mac Apple Spearmint, which is just a really lovely, um, I love Mac Apple. Love it mixed with the spearmint. Uh, yeah, really good. So, which that's kind of fallish. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I have melted that before from Swanky. This is Swizzle Sticks. This, she sent me as a sample. This is from a long time ago when I did like the um, Vendor's Choice. Is it Vendor's Choice picks? Like you get sign up on her list and when your name is called, you give her a list of your likes and dislikes. Um, and she creates things for you. So this was this is so unbelievably good that if this was offered, if she does like ready to ship or opens up her website or whatever, I would definitely order this. I just want to melt it now because like I said, I've had it for a while and I don't want to lose because it's super strong. So, yummy. From Zape, I want to finish up the rest of this. California Girl, which is coconut cream, strawberries, toasted marshmallows, and white cake. Um, this was okay. It smells, it does smell really good right now on cold. Um, I know that this is typically like a summer scent and I only really have a little piece, but I've been hearing a lot of people say that like Zape doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't do fabulously past a year. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but from a lot of the waxies that I watch on YouTube, um, I know it requires a cure time and I don't even know when I got this, but I just want to use it up. It's not worth hanging on to this for next summer. I mean, if I love it that much, I'm sure it's something or something like it would be offered. So I just want to get done with that. I have some Elm Street from Tiffany Candles. I believe this is a blend that was created by Tiffany and Kirby from Vintage Chic Scents. I've had this many, many times. I really like this. I just thought it was kind of fitting for... For Halloween so I have like one teddy and then I have a full um, thing I thought that was kind of fitting for Halloween time this is from Hayden Row. this is white tea and berries mm, smells good just a scent shot of that her stuff is pretty like see the so I just have a tiny little bit of this red apple which I love apple I Apple scents. This is from Wilma. Um, I've had that for a long time. It was like clearance. I don't even know if you can just get her red apple by itself anymore. I put this back in here, the raspberry lemonade. I want to finish that up. Uh, from Yankee, because I know that these don't last long. This is passion fruit martini. So I want to get that used up. From Better Homes, I have Autumn Afternoon Stroll, which is golden oak leaves and apples and acorns. I am hoping... The last thing that I had that had oak leaves smelt like patchouli to me. This I haven't used at all. It's the dual um, bar. So you get half the side of golden oak leaves and on the other half apples and acorns. I just want to use this because I bought it last year and stuff doesn't last forever. The Black Cat from Vintage Chic Scents. This was poured on May 19th. This is Cider Lane topped with whipped cream. This does smell really good. Um, so this was, that was a sample. So I want to use that up. From Lasting Scent Candles, I have Blushing Rock Candy. That smells really good. It smells kind of, it smells like peach. Um, not like cat pee. So let's hope that this performs and doesn't get that yucky smell to it. From Destination Wax, I have Lemon Verbena. Just really nice. Lemon scent. I have a couple cubes left of Pumpkin Marshmallow Cream. I like this by itself. I like blending it. Um, just want to get it used up. Super Tarts, I have Dumbledore, which is Apple Slices, Pink Chiffon, and Blue Cotton Candy. Got, you know, the apples. Kind of fallish. I like this. I've melted it before. Um, Sophia from Super Tart, which is pear gelato topped with sweet blackberry preserves. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, 
I melt I melted two cubes, but it was a while ago, and I think I've had this since April, so I just it's getting a little squishy, not bad at all, but um I'd like to just melt that from Super Tarts. I have Gandalf, which is magically delicious coffee beans and sweet cream that smells really good I like the coffee note on this it smells very authentic um, and I've used two cubes I don't even remember when I use them but that's cute you shall not pass so that's a good like Saturday Sunday morning melt from vintage chic I have cold miners daughter which is blueberry muffin cornbread I do not like cornbread but I can't smell it um, on colds, I just really smell the blueberry, which not a huge fan of blueberry, but this came in a mystery box that I had ordered like in April or May. So I just, it was poured in April. So I just want to use this and see if I like it. Um, the banana from Wilma's, I'm going to finish that up. <clears throat> from Rose Girls, I have sweet pumpkin pie fluff puffs. So I just have a few, uh, chunks. No idea when this was poured. Um, so I just want to, smells really good. A little spicy. want to use that up. Hayden Row. I have lemon, uh, lemon, lime, sage. That smells good. I love sage. So there's that. Um, I have a little piece left of pressed linen. <clears throat> From Hayden Row smells really good. No point in hanging on to a half a cent shot. This was sent to me by Sasha. This is from K Scented Melts. This is Barbershop 1920s. Oh my God, this smells so unbelievably good. Part of me wants to hang on to it just because it does. It smells so good on cold. I just want to just keep it and like just sniff it. And then... The other part of me says, go ahead and melt it so that you know if you like it on warm. But that's what that looks like. This, it just smells really good. And then I put, threw in a couple um, <clears throat> bars from Super Tarts that make me think of Halloween. Um, not necessarily the scents, but just the names. So I pulled Saw, which I can't even read it, what it is. But I didn't date this one. I don't even know, but I melted one cube. This, I'm pretty sure I bought this in a D-stash. That's why I probably didn't melt it because I didn't know. I mean, that's why I didn't date it because I didn't know how long the person had it before me. So I didn't, um, I didn't date it. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and use that up. And then Children of the Corn, which is another one that I got in the D-stash. And this is Kettle Corn. I don't know. Kettle Corn. Mexican fried ice cream. Uh, not really sure how I feel about this on cold, but seriously, it means nothing. That means nothing. Um, super cute, the inside. Um, because this could be, I could end up melting this and this be like my favorite. I feel like I get, you definitely get the ice cream. That might be like what's kind of a turn off to me. Um, but I'm gonna melt it and see if I like it. I love that, I just love her labels. So that made me think of Halloween. And one other thing left in here is a half a cent shot, which I don't know why. I think because I was gonna melt this in my kid's bedroom a couple days ago and it just sat on the counter. So Let Them Eat Cake by Swanky. And this to me, it's not a, it's really not a bakery. It's like a very soft, I don't know, like feminine scent. Um, it's pretty. So I, I probably have three quarters. I don't know. So I do want to get that um, melted. So that is everything that I have in my melting basket. I'm going to really try to stick, um, stick with this and just pull from here. I'm going to keep this basket in my pantry. Um, so that it's easy, I have easy access to it and I can just every day just go here and just pick. Um, and like I said, if the weather starts getting cooler, I'm going to add more fall scents because I have another basket of just fall scents. And um, 
see how that goes. If it doesn't cool down, I'll pull some more like fruities and fresh kind of stuff. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.